What if I could speak all languages of humans and of angels? If I did not love others, I would be nothing more than a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. What if I could prophesy and understand all secrets and all knowledge? And what if I had faith that moved mountains? I would be nothing unless I loved others. What if I gave away all that I owned to let myself be buried alive? I would gain nothing unless I loved others. Love is kind and patient, never jealous, boastful, proud, or rude. Love is not selfish or quick-tempered. It does not keep a record of wrongs that others do. Love rejoices in the truth, but not in evil. Love is always supportive, loyal, hopeful, and trusting. <laughs> Love never fails. In the history of man, we have never discovered a better way of life than sharing a commitment with love and respect. This arrangement seems to meet our deepest human needs for love and companionship, for someone with whom we can share in an intimate and trusting way all the hopes and joy and dreams of life. But real love is something beyond the warmth and the glow, the excitement and the romance of being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your life partner as about your own. Real love is not total absorption into each other. It is looking outward in the same direction together. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes you stronger so you can be involved with life in ways you dare not risk alone. I remind you both as you stand in the presence of God that marriage is a covenant relationship. It is a union of a man and a woman who accept themselves as whole persons and promise each other that they will be faithful, responsible, loving, and loyal. Throughout your life together, be honest with each other, be respectful, and be gentle with each other. Dear God, as you bless this couple, may they experience all the fullness of your grace. Watch over them and nurture their love always. Let each of them find their greatest fulfillment in the arms of the other. May the world be blessed by their love. Let your sacred smile shine upon them and give them peace. Amen. I, Nick, take you, Madison, to be my wife, to love, honor, and cherish, in sickness and in health, in good times and in times of adversity, and forsaking all others until death do us part. I, Madison, take you, Nick, to be my husband, to love, honor, and cherish, in sickness and in health, 
through good times and times of adversity and forsaking all others until death do us Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no loneliness for you. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter the, the days of your togetherness, and may your days be good and long together. as much as you, Nick, and you, Madison, have consented in the union of matrimony and you've pledged your faith to each other in the presence of family and friends, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yes,